welcome this. And he's absolutely right. There is a cliff edge. Operators like Cleo Jones in my constituency of Abercombe can only look on in envy at the levels of support, support being offered. We do face a cliff age in Wales, and in particular, it's estimated that some 15% of routes are at risk of closure, including the T19, which joins communities like Llandidno, Dolwyth Erlan, Llanrhus, along the Conway Valley and beyond. That was closed in February, which has disrupted lives along the valley ever since. Will the Minister join me in um, pressing the Welsh Government, given its generous settlements of £1.20 for every pound uh, given in England, does he agree that actually there is space for the Welsh Government to find room for funding from within its own transport, bus, uh, transport budget to support routes like this? To thank my uh, honourable friend for his question. Uh, well, in England, we have found money for buses from within our own budget, so I definitely encourage other parts of the United Kingdom to do the same. I, I think in Wales, we've sadly seen a far too ideological approach, um, including with uh, changing speed limits right across the country, an estimated cost of £32.5 million pounds, uh, implementation alone, with uh, major economic costs potentially knocking on as well. Uh, what I would say is that um, the, and, and the, uh, the number of 15% that he mentioned is on top of what has already been lost uh, in uh, Wales. Uh, I'd, I'd just say to him that Wales cannot be a model uh, for the future and they really should look to the support that we're providing in England, including those lower cost fares um, for young people um, to deliver for them right across the country.